Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. We need to get on those crystals, Groot. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was gonna do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Do you even have a chance of stopping them? Oh, yes. But only if you cure Draxy Waxy here. The five of you are the only ones who ever do anything. Beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for fork knows what? Can you get us through here, Gamora? Larkin, I'm going in. No, you mustn't. You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you. Something bad is about to happen.
close one. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. It's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Shh. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! <sighs> what? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. So am I! Are you Spartoy? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How would a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! How it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me. Next time we're in a huge fight, I'll make sure to remember that. that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, chitauri, Wait, water. Wait, hang on. Did you say chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. Yeah. This is impossible! <gasps> I thought I'd never <gasps> see these markers again! I hoped I never would! <clears throat> an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Let's make one thing clear. Guardians do not dig their own graves. What? Why are you talking about graves? We're digging. Oh, you're not hearing me. Those losers are the ones who will be digging graves, because we're about to bury them. Who's with me? That was supposed to help. we are. <laughs> Anyone else 
feel like this fog has a mind of its own. Just one of the many things that don't want us here. I'll tell your mistress you say goodbye. Stupid grunts! Ha ha ha! Someone get rid of the jiggle! The blob's on a warpath! Carve him a new one! It's like the fog is following us! Or luring us! Whoa! Slime speeding up!
fog of fear faced fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Let's just focus on helping Drax. <laughs> He's gonna be upset he didn't get to fight all those things. Uh, I don't think that any of those were real. Not really real, anyway. Their attack felt real enough. Maybe they were real. There's something down here that's affecting my vision. I think it was ever that clear to begin with. <laughs> Monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. They're rock people. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think they speak their language. <laughs> um, how many times have I saved your butt now? Oh, thanks, buddy. I hope we're supposed to be shooting these guys, Mantis. about as well as expected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I know why we're doing it. I don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Oh, is this the one where Little Fuzzy does something I think it's pretty easy to say You, most of all, should be willing to give someone another chance, Gamora. Oh, hey, Star Guy. I 
I may not know exactly what we're looking for, but I do know it's not that way. Noted. Don't make no sense. What does it? How come everything attacking us don't attack each other? I'll have to tell the priests about the big baddies down here. Once we cure Drax, maybe we could capture a couple. What the flark for? This looks like something Gamora could use. by the cave entrance, all by himself. Except for, you know, the Kotadi, but they're not known for their conversation. What for? I think it was because he didn't care for his house guests, but didn't want to be rude and tell them to leave. Sunlight, does that mean there are holes on the surface that lead all the way down here? Maybe that's it. All these jerks who keep attacking us fell in and got stuck. planet be hollow? Doesn't it need a core or something for gravity or atmosphere? Got any other science words you want to throw out there, Gamora? Electromagnetic field? <laughs> um, guys. I know, little fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. And I see what lies behind. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. It doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! There's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow down here? I don't know. But those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Never mind. Just a plant plant, not a you plant. But we ain't got much choice. What would you guys do without me? Yeah, where, oh where, would we get another gun? What do you think, Rocket? Doesn't seem that bad. Translation, Rocket don't... Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as Little Fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Hey, Bugly! Exactly how many times have you seen us die horribly? And... Ugh, crap! It 
must still be stuck somewhere. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This doesn't seem absurd to you? He's got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? You're supposed to be his leader. Have you met Rocket? I could try blowing it up, I guess. No! Remember last time you blew something up? Okay, fine. Figure something else out. How about a hand? What's a big ass plant doing all the way down here? The priests call it Boros, giver of light and life. In our case, I settle for some shelter. Any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me, hypothetically speaking? Oh, little fuzzy. Sometimes you die trying to get out. Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. Missing Drax's anecdotes about Katath. Oh, you know he has some Katathian fairy tale related to our current situation. Like the Katathian equivalent of Jack the Giant Beanstalk. some magic beans and they grow into this giant plant which obviously he climbs you don't know where to get magic beans you big sure there's 
They're big enough to block the water, but they're growing in the wrong direction. You're the only plant that grows that fast. I need another boost. Hey, Groot. I am Groot. He ain't gonna let you leave me. It's not that. I just want some help up here. I am Groot. All right, he'll do it. <clears throat> up we go, Groot. I am Groot. Give me another ride, Groot. I am Groot. Right about there. I am Groot. If I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind, focus on saving Drax? He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't, meh. Groot would never go for that. What are you guys talking about? Nothing, buddy. You're a valued member of the team. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. 
You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. You really, really shouldn't. Does this crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Much worse. Guys. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Are you Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing. That you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Fuck. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. I just prefer to keep dry is all. Rocket, something's wrong with my visor. I can't see anything. Huh. Must be Groot's bioluminescence. It ain't on the defined light spectrum. Uh, right. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our chins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Ooh, this part. Ooh. Okay, anyone else getting really fed up with little Miss Printic? Pretty? <laughs> Give me a break. did have unexpected but fun side effects. you glow. You're welcome. I had no idea Flora Colossi could become bioluminescent. There's a lot about him you don't know. At least it seems less dark through here and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Now it gets loopy? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraiser. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. Oh, 
shark, Regis! And there's a way out now. Weird. It's like this place has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Can we go back? I'm not even sure where back would lead. We go down. Always down. Getting deja vu. It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Anyone else feel like we're being messed with? Always. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Vitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. Something isn't right. There's something we're supposed to do. I'm with Groot. Shatari. I'll never forget those things as long as I live. This ain't no time to gloat. It's like the Lord said. Something's messing with us. something it's a foggy mystery a mystery with biting Drax would love this we can't keep doing this what are we supposed to do ignore it if this isn't right it can't be real it sure felt real when we were fighting them it's the fog they're just sounds shh what do you mean shh it's shh and about what shh So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things, but the source? It's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say... It means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes. Sort of. 
Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure track, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Definitely. Just like that! In one possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Groot, you do the honors. Uh-oh. You hear that? No, what is it? Rushing water. Lots of it. Oh, and the odds of you drowning are getting higher and higher. Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save Drax and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, okay! This is crazy. He is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now. Right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! And Gamora, you've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people, to get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? 
Oh, it feels so good. Uh, Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on such a roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Let's see that sword!
out. <laughs> Still not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. A bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as flock didn't get all wet for nothing. Sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Katathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um, is that supposed to be me? speech so many times and then Gamora says something like we're going to need Drax uh-huh and then little fuzzy says nope I ain't playing this game and then little fuzzy usually says if I get eaten I'm gonna be real pissed Quill that does sound like me relax nobody ever gets eaten Mantis, are you sure you can't just tell us what to expect? Oh no, every time I do, this goes very, very badly. Trust me. I think I know what I'm doing. And what are you? 